data structures. They sound a bit technical, right? But in simple terms, they're just ways of organizing, managing, and storing data so we can use it efficiently. Think of it like a library. When you walk into a library, you see rows of books, but it's not random. There's a system. Books are grouped by genre, author, or topic, so anyone can find what they need quickly. That's exactly how data structures work in computer science. They bring order, organization, and structure to large amounts of data. Now, there are two main types of data structures. First, linear data structures. Here, data elements are arranged one after another, like a line of people at a grocery store. Each person represents a data element connected to the one in front and behind. When the first person pays, they leave the line, just like how elements are processed in order. This is called a first-in, first-out, or FIFO system. Examples, arrays, linked lists, stacks, and queues. So, why are data structures so important? They make your code faster, easier to understand, and more efficient with memory. Using the right structure, like a binary search tree or a hash table, can make your program run much faster. And if you're preparing for coding interviews, trust me, data structures are your best friend. Most interview problems revolve around them. Here's my advice. Start simple. Understand how each data structure works, practice problems, and learn their time and space complexities. Because once you master data structures, you're already halfway to mastering algorithms. In our next episode, we'll explore the most common data structures and when to use each one. See you there.